It is time for a thermal drone shootout between the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, the DJI Matrice 300 RTK with its H20T, and the Autel Evo 2 640T. And we'll even take a look at the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. Lots of questions about that one, and is it still relevant? Uh, so we're gonna talk about that. If you're interested in thermal drones, don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for stopping by. So we get questions all the time about the thermal drones that are available on the market. A couple of years ago, the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual hit the market. Uh, that was a very, very low resolution thermal. But recently, aircraft like the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, the Autel Evo 2 640T, and the DJI Matrice 300 RTK have come out and they are high resolution thermal. That means at 400 feet, you're still gonna be able to get accurate heat signatures. You're still gonna see the differences between cold spots and hot spots, which was not the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel's strong point because once you got above 150 or 200 feet, it was basically pointless to even be using the thermal at that point. But we're gonna take a look at all these drones. We're gonna give you some example video of the thermal. In everything but the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel, you're able to zoom with the thermal as well different degrees. Uh, so we're gonna show you all of these. We're gonna start with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual uh, just cause it's the low, low resolution. And then you're gonna be able to see uh, how much better these other drones are. And we'll compare them and talk about it at the end and figure out which one we think uh, might be the best. I don't know if there's gonna be a clear winner, but we'll, we'll see if there is uh, at the end of this. So right now starts our thermal drone shootout.
All right, so there it is. Which one do you guys think was the winner in the thermal drone shootout? Obviously the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual is not gonna be the winner. It is the lowest resolution of them all. Uh, so we can throw that one sort of out the window. It's only gonna be available for another year or so. Uh, and the price comes in at around $4,300. So it's also your cheapest option. Lowest price, lowest resolution. So let's move on to the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. This one is, it's basically identical to the Dual in terms of its flying capabilities, its battery life, uh, its actual design. It's all exactly the same. In fact, the batteries are interchangeable. The attachments are interchangeable. It's the same aircraft just with a better thermal camera and a better 4K camera on it. Uh, really impressed with this thermal, but can you really tell the difference between this thermal and the Autel Evo 2 Dual 640T or the Matrice 300 RTK uh, with the H20T? I don't know that you can really tell a huge difference. They are all radiometric thermal sensors, which means you're actually able to click on the screen and get a heat value for every pixel on that screen. So you're gonna be able to see when something uh, is a different heat level than the rest of everything else in your picture. This is why these drones are great for search and rescue operations. So this is very high resolution thermal on these three drones, the Autel Evo 2 640T, the DJI Matrice 300 RTK with H20T, and the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. Now let's talk about pricing. Uh, the DJI drone, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, uh, that's gonna come in at around 69, 69, so just under $7,000 for the whole package, including the Fly More kit. So you're getting the smart controller, all the attachments, the speaker, the spotlight, the beacon, a hard case, uh, travel chargers, multi-chargers, uh, the whole thing. You get it all in that base package under $7,000, just under $7,000. So really great price, really great value. And a few years ago, you couldn't have bought a thermal camera by itself for $7,000. So the fact that we're getting it on this amazing drone, uh, that's it's pretty remarkable. All right, so let's move on to the Autel Evo 2. So its base package is very similarly priced. It's at $6,900. So it comes in at a little less than the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. Really interesting. Here are some of its other its other advantages. Uh, it's got a longer battery, 40 minute flight time, as opposed to about 30 minutes with the with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance. It's not geolocked, so with DJI, even if you get FAA approval, if you're in an area that they determine it's not safe to fly, they can lock you out. Here's the bad thing about the Autel drone is it comes with a standard controller. It is really the weakest part of the drone altogether. Uh, they are coming out with a smart controller that looks really impressive. It's gonna have an eight inch screen uh, compared to the five inch screen of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced Smart Controller. Uh, so it looks great, but it also comes at a price that's gonna come in at around $1,200. It's coming out hopefully very soon, uh, but we don't have an exact date on that yet. The other thing you definitely need if you get this Autel drone is the live deck. We're we're gonna do a separate video on the live deck in the near future, but it gives you a way to stream and broadcast the live drone footage. So if you want the live deck to be at a headquartered area, say you're working a SWAT team or something like that, you want your home base to be able to see uh, the drone footage that you're shooting and you could be three, four miles away. That's what Live Deck is for. Um, so it's definitely something interesting. Also comes at a price about 450. So all of a sudden you're looking at closer to like $8,600, something like that. And you still don't get those attachments that the DJI drone gives you as well. So those are the negatives. There are definite, definite positives with the Autel drone. All right, let's move on to the DJI Matrice 300 RTK and that amazing H20T camera that they've got for that. Um, uh, so it has high resolution thermal. It also has a laser rangefinder on it. It also has a 200 times zoom lens on it. So you get 23 times optical zoom and 200 times digital zoom. I literally was able to zoom into the Sears Tower from 43 miles away uh, from downtown Chicago. So really incredible uh, camera that this thing has, but you're looking at tens of thousands of dollars for this. So you've got to have the budget for something like this, but it is an absolute workhorse and it's able to take all sorts of weather conditions as well. So maybe this is drone goals for some of you folks out there uh, and, and eventually you'll move to something like that. Uh, but I think people are more likely to go with the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced or the Autel Evo 2 Dual 640T 
Both of these are great drones. DJI is obviously tried and true. Uh, we know the products that they offer are rock solid. Autel is kind of the new kid on the block. I was somebody that sort of wrote them off several years ago thinking they were just copycats. And while some of their products are very similar to what DJI has made, there's a reason for that. It's because those designs really work well. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all we got for today. If you've got questions, feel free to reach out to us. Information is is somewhere right down here. Uh, we appreciate you watching the channel. We hope you'll stop by again. We'll see you next time.